Hello, this is Mr. Chabru. We are facing a pretty daunting team. Not going to lie, this team is daunting. Um, I think I actually want to lead off with Dragonite. Just because there's a few things that would try to set up on me. And I think that would make sense to just, you know, try to bait them into it. Bait them into setting up on me. I think that is the the plan. We're going to start off with Dragonite if my opponent leads off a of Volcarona or Cloyster and try to set up. Well, Dragonite will take that setup. I couldn't use that first turn to break whatever uh, Sash they might have. You're going to send out Persian first. Okay. Persian's pretty, pretty tough Pokemon. Um, let's go ahead and hard switch into Chestnut then. Don't think I want to stay in on that. Um, you don't really see a Lolan Persian that much anymore. So I don't know what it does. It's going to just fake out. Okay, it's going to get some chip damage back because of the Rocky Helmet, of course. And I think, honestly, it would be perfect time to just go Leech Seed. You are playing pretty well. Playing pretty well. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna click Seed Bomb. If we could... I would like to break whatever uh, Sash... Uh, Sash might be on whatever's coming in. And then, no matter what it is, I'm going into Dragonite. If it's, it's Volcarona. No, it's going to be Salazzle. Okay. okay. Alright, well, we break possible Sashes. It's got leftovers, so it has no Sash. We just go Mew? We'll just go Mew here. I think that's the play. We'll go Mew. Scare this thing out and in our with our Pokemon just set up a light screen. Toxic. There's not much I can do about that. The thing with Salazzle, it can toxic anything. Even if I try to bring Caesar out, even um Even if I was able to bring out my Quillfish, it would have been taking toxic poison. Let's go ahead and light screen here. Oh, no. That's not good. That is honestly not good at all. I don't have any form of bypassing that. No sound-based moves. No infiltrator. Infiltrator would be so good. I need a... Next time I use a team, I might bring an infiltrator Pokemon. Just because, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty good. That's a good ability. Um, we'll click Swift. Let's see if we can break this thing. So far, I haven't seen anything where it could set up. I don't want it to set up. It doesn't do enough damage. All right, <clears throat> um, sorry, I have to switch into Quillfish. Even if that means Quillfish takes a Toxic. It's the only option I've got. The only option I have. Um, this thing would be so great if it did have a Psychic move. It really does need one. Because, yeah, we're, it, it's, it's highly, highly, highly needed. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and break this thing's substitute while I can. It's really what I have to do. I have to do it. Um, wait a second. Let me double check something. You do have defoggers. So I'm just going to throw Aquatel real quick. Toxic away. There's nothing I can even do. My main... Objective is to break that sub and make sure that 
whatever I bring in can take it. actually do some sort of damage to it. That's the only thing I can do at this point. Um. All right. My opponent's running a really interesting team. You know, the uh, support from a lowland Persian, the annoying tactics from the Salazzle. Just highly stalling. Let's go ahead and Aquatel again. There's the Corviknight. Oh, do we mi oh, we miss the Corviknight? That is unfortunate. That is highly unfortunate. Oh, that is that is so annoying that we missed that. And the light screen's gone. Oh well. Um, I might switch into Braviary just so I can U-turn out. I think I need what I'm needing is some sort of momentum pushed back into my. Um, in my court, because right now I'm kind of playing on the defense, and I need to have some form of way to turn this around, so. We'll throw a Shadow Ball, or Chip, and then you turn out. That's what we'll do. Shadow Ball, you turn out. Oh, you're going to, uh, do that. Okay. Ooh, that's actually decent damage. I am surprised. Alright, so... I'm gonna click U-turn. I mean, of course, Fake Out's gonna happen. Uh, it's better to hit Fake Out on this than, you know, unfortunate damage on something else. Um, hmm. I'll just click U turn. I don't know what moves you have. You have foul play. Might actually take us out, unfortunately. Okay. At least I've got chip damage on this thing. At least I've got chip damage on this thing. That's the main thing. Alright. <clears throat> Corviknight. I mean, Chestnut. I do have to watch out for Corviknight with this thing. So my plan now... Unfortunately, we lost an important mine. I need Dragonite for the Corviknight. So nothing else really does much to it. So what would you switch in to this? All right, I'm going Quillfish here. Oh, you're not going to switch. What are you doing? What are you going for? What do you have? Oh, okay. I could have easily taken that thing out. I really could have. I did not think you would have stayed in. I already know you have taunt. I was I was expecting to switch into the lazzle. All right, Aquatel again. Parting shot. I just can't really do much with this thing playing these games. Parting shot from an Alolan Persian. It's hard to play around that, really. It really is. There's the Corviknight. Please tell me you connect this time, Coolfish. Like, I need you to connect. Thank you. Yeah, that's actually decent, what you just did there. You did decent damage. Okay. Now, what does this thing do for me? I do think I want to be able to set stuff up. I still think that is very important. The thing is, I don't... Everything I've got is resisted by this thing. So, I think, unfortunately, I have to send Mew out to possibly go down. Because I need Quillfish to set stuff up for me. 
If I want a chance at this, I need Quillfish to set stuff up. Okay, I can't do much. Admittedly, I can't do much with Mew. Um, so I'm willing for Mew to go down, just because I just can't do anything with it. What I could do is set up light screen before I go down. Because I'm likely to go down here. Oh, you're in defog. Okay. Okay, so I see that you're willing to defog. I don't have any residual damage on you, but I do still need that light screen. I do still need that light screen. So I'm going to still go for it and hope that you don't just continuously click defog. Right. Um, I might go down here. Might not. Oh, not quite, not quite. Well, I lose. I'm going to click life do. So that way I have at least one more turn for um, a light screen. So I can at least have one more turn of light screen because I need that light screen. I need that light screen. I am faster than you. Let's go chestnut here then. Because we have to I need that light screen. I need that light screen in the face of, you know, Salazzle and Volcarona. Iron Head. Okay, I could have had the light screen. I just knew if my opponent clicked defog, basically all they were having to do was to stall me out. Let's throw Elite Seed. We don't take one. But that gives us... What that finally does is it gives us a switch in into Dragonite. Which I was so desperately needing. I was desperately needing the switch in here. So, let's go ahead and... Click Fire Punch. What do you switch it into? Can we one shot this Persian? Man, Persian is so annoying. And that was a crit too. That was a crit too. It is so bulky. We've seen Taunt. Fake Out. Because of Fake Out, I have to switch. Okay, Caesar, I need you to come in and do some work. We've seen Fake Out, Taunt, Foul Play. What else would it have? I might have seen it, but I don't remember. Can I get a, a, um, a swords dance in? No, not gonna let me have it. Okay. Not gonna let me have it. Okay, okay. I could have one shot this with an exit. See, this is the thing. I'm kind of playing this off of what what I would do in my opponent's shoes is trying to prevent me from taking out some of his Pokemon, and that's what's hurting me. Trying to. Move everything around so I can get things in here. And it's just. Oh, oh gosh. Alright. 
Ah! Oh. Flame body. Are you serious? Okay, that's okay. Um... That is okay. Quiver Dance, I think, is obvious. So if I could, I would love to go into my Dragonite. Steal some of that boost. Oh, give me! Give me the speed! The special defense! That's what I want! Alright, here we go, here we go. Boom! Boom! That's what I'm going to want. Alright, we're going to get one Dragon Dance. So that ensures that I have the speed advantage. And I can do some extra damage with my power. Alright, here we go. Dragonite, I need you. You can take one. I know you can. All right, we've got the special defense boost, which is going to help us out. I'm going for another one. I have to. I think I honestly do have to. Hopefully I don't get burnt, but I have to go. I need to get my attack up as high as I can. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Is this, is this how it's going to be? All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Plus two. Can I one-shot this thing with an extreme speed with plus two? I hope we can. <gasps> not quite, not quite, not quite, not quite, not quite. But we survived. We still have our uh, multi-scale, luckily. Luckily, we do. Well, I don't think uh, one more would have done it either. I think with this thing, we just needed to make sure we brought it down to half. All right. That means we still have our multi-scale. As long as we don't get burnt here. Yes, we still have our multi-scale. We still have our multi-scale. So Cloyster comes out. We still have our multi-scale. We can throw... Let's go ahead and change so we're not going to get four times hurt by it. And we're just going to extreme speed here. Just going to extreme speed. Here we go. Here we go. All right. That way, it's not going to be uh, four times effective when we get hit with the uh, ice move the next turn. You're going for it now. Okay. We will survive that. As long as there's no crits and it doesn't hit five times. <gasps> no! It hit five times! It hit five times! No! Okay, skill link, of course. Skill link, of course. Okay. We got that chip in. I was hoping we could survive that. I was so hoping we would survive that. Um... Hmm. The only thing I could think of here is to try to get some sort of boost and then just uh, bullet punch. Bullet punch. I was so hopeful Dragonite would be able to do it, but we just didn't have enough attack power to cut through that. Those Pokemon my opponent brought are just so, so bulky. I didn't have enough attack, attack to cut through them. Every one of my opponent's Pokemon were just so bulky. That's okay, though. That is okay, though. Unfortunate that it went the way that it did, but that's okay. We, we tried our best. Our opponent brought some strong Pokemon, strong team choice. Um, Alolan... Persian, a great Pokemon. It really is a great Pokemon. 
It, it shut me down immediately. My whole plan that I had early on in the battle was just shut down immediately. So that just gives you an idea of... Um, Alolan Persian has a lot of utility. It would have been so nice to... Because if we had one more of those Aquatel hits on this thing, we, that would have taken it out. But there's no way we could win. We could just try to see how many Pokemon we take out near the end. But yeah, strong team selection by my opponent. Multiple Pokemon that would love to set up. Strong team selection. At least we have Corviknight. At least we take out Corviknight. But that's the thing. Bulky Pokemon have their place. More offensive Pokemon have their place. I might try to adjust some of my team going forward. Because there's some Pokemon I want to bring. I haven't had their movesets refreshed since bringing them here to Gen 9. Just because, you know, you bring them forward for some reason. They lose their entire moveset and you have to start from scratch. But there's some really good Pokemon I want to bring back that I haven't used in a long, long time. So, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next Pokemon video.